Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 179. This is season four, the start of season four. It was on hiatus for a few months or a month or two. I don't remember, but I want to say thank you to one of my um, viewers, Yasmin, for honestly um, commenting on one of my other videos to let me know like hey a new episode just dropped for the re remarried empress so i'm so excited okay so what la the last season season three the ending of it i remember duke ergi um has possession of rasha's firstborn child um it looks like in a carriage looks like they're running away from somewhere and he had like a very devilish smile okay and yeah i don't know what else happened but that was the shocker let's go ahead and get started <sighs> your your majesty the bill of sale the bill of sale uh -huh. the bill of sale with empress rush's name on it has been discovered in duke ergie's room oh the baby yes this smile like it looks really soft and sweet like a sweet smile like a um adoring a doting smile towards something like his smile seemed very sweet here but his eyes kind of give that little like smirk oh man He's even more despicable than the rumors suggest. Duke Ergie is usually very vigilant, which is why we could only search his chambers after he departed in such haste. The bill of sale was sewn beneath the carpet. I see. That's why it was so hard to find. Seeing as he kept the documents occasion a secret even from Empress Rashta, it's certain he had some ulterior motive. At least we were able to find it. Maybe Empress Rasha merely played into his hands. <gasps> huh? Oh, I doubt Rasha is innocent, but I'm convinced that Rake spurred her on. After all, it was he who explained everything to Rasha. When the nobles brought up Alicia at the tea party, I didn't think much of it at the time. But why? What is he after? Huh. Whatever it is, I now have all that I need to protect Gloria. The anti-forgery seals looks fine. This is definitely the real document. <gasps> huh? So... Now that I've destroyed the only proof of her background, nobody will claim Glorium is a princess born to a slave. Have you located Duke Ergie? Uh, we're still looking. I'm going to make him return to his kingdom as soon as he comes back. So send a message to Bul Bulvan. Inform them that Duke Ergie has embroiled himself in a scandal and caused difficulties for us. They should take him back to avoid any further embarrassment. Understood, Your Majesty. As for the parentage test, we shall conduct it once our delegation returns from the Western Empire. No matter what the result says, the controversy over Rash's past will continue for a while. However, I must protect the child. Papa will protect you. Gloria. The Remarried Empress, episode 179. That's actually kind of sweet to see the, how protective he is of this child. Even if this baby may or may not be his child. Like, isn't that wild? So I'm assuming like, even if she is not, I think he will still keep her and claim her. A few days later, a small storm of turmoil erupted in the Eastern Empire. Oh, let go of me. My son is missing. Why are you ignoring me? We have to find him immediately. Oh, Rashta. Rashta! Oh, I plan to send people to seize him anyway. So this works out. Have you, he have, 
him imprisoned, ensure no one is allowed to see him. As you command, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, Count Fernier requests an audience with you. What? Henry has the fairest tear? It appears Empress Navier gave it to him. As the Emperor likes collecting gems. Do -do. Oh, 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 his face. He just went pale. He's like, oh, my heart just broke. You know, it looks like that, right? She gave the gift that I promised her. To, to him? Also, <clears throat> Grand Duke Ryland Roth caused an incident. Again, what nonsense did he say this time? Oh, it wasn't words this time. He pushed the elder Duke Zemencia's grandson into a pond. What? It appears he still grow, holds a grudge against the Duke, as he is said to have shoved the child when he was near the pond. The child's father and Emperor Henry witnessed him do it. Emperor Henry saw it happen. The Grand Duke might hold grudges, but he's not someone who would do something reckless like that. The boy is fine, but because he has undeniable, undeniably harmed the child of a prominent noble house. Here. I have a letter that states that they want to handle the situation themselves instead of sending him back here. The Grand Duke has been an annoyance to for me for a long time. Ah. <sighs> but I never imagined to get rid of him with Henry's aid. He sim simultaneously hurting and helping me. The Duke assaulted someone while he was in another empire. He's a disgrace. Let them handle it. The Western Empire. Tomorrow's the day we finally meet the new delegation from White Wand. Indeed. It looks like they were happy to hear that we agreed to the treaty of our conditions were also included. Oh, Well, considering they sent two whole ships as a present, I don't foresee them not accepting. Still, we must be more careful about diplomatic matters in the future. You're right, we must. Can we stop talking about matters of the state, my queen? Uh -oh. You and I, our child that will be brought into this world. Oh, oh it's the art is so beautiful. That's what I want to talk about. Our family, my dearest child. Papa loves you so much. <laughs> hmm. Let's talk about a happy future together. The next day, Chamber of Stars. Oh, one of their princesses is here, so I'm expecting a favorable, favorable response. The Western Empire's Prime Minister, likewise. His Majesty the Emperor of the Western Empire and Her Majesty the Empress. Oh, wow. All the art. We arrived half an hour late because of Henry, but they don't look upset. Hmm? Charlotte, the princess of White Mont. Whoa, she is pretty. We are truly grateful for your willingness to overlook our kingdom's blunder. We released the merchant group after treating them as our honored guests and added some special teas from White Mond to their trade goods. In addition, while the merchant group is in loot, one of our merchant vessels will be on standby. They'll wait for them to finish even though they don't know how long the merchant group will stay there. In honor of the reconciliation between the two nations, our king wishes for a marriage between the royals of both nations. Huh? A marriage between royals? With who? There's only one person who fits the age and status of a royal marriage with a princess. Oh, the tense. Hey, surely she isn't talking about... <laughs> huh. 
Henry? <gasps> what? Oh my. Wow. This is... What is what is Henry gonna say? In order for this to go through, there has to be a marriage, a royal marriage between the two nations. Like if he wants this to be passed, he will have to. Oh my gosh. Which is like, you know, it's normal, I I believe. You know, well in like, you know, China dynasty back then, like they do that. They have they have the main queen and then there's a lot of concubines, you know, mistresses to strengthen the nation, you know? Oh, uh, is this is what is that is that what's gonna happen? What are they gonna say? Alright guys, um I gotta hop on out, but that is the end of it. I think the next episode will release on Saturday or Sunday. But if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!